might say Daniel Boone is our father. I discovered a guitar in my grandmother's closet after her death. She died in 2002. I was off my first year at UK. It, in between classes, I would just strum those chords. The more I'd play and the more songs I learned, the, the more feeling would just, just go through my bones. Like, man, this is just, wow. The next thing you know, building fans and, and playing live. Just a creative part of me I never knew I had. I'm sure glad I found it. Grew up on a family farm that's been in our family for over uh, 100 years in a tiny town about 40 miles east of Louisville called Taylorsville. I uh, spent most of my childhood, uh, you know, work on the farm. Of course, FFA I was big in that in school and, and, and sports. So that was what my life consisted of growing up as a kid. Down to our last name, they came straight from Kentucky. When I first started, I had no idea you could make money playing music. I had no idea that it would be as much fun as I was having. I, was, I knew that music was a passion I was slowly starting to grab onto after the death of my grandmother. And so I learned it all on my own, just working on the farm, coming up from an all-American family, grew up in church. All those things uh, really factored into to really where I was going to go in life. And so music just kind of fell on my path at the right place, right time. I don't always make it to church on Sunday. Music heals. Music helps people, and other people have related to my songs that I've written about my life. They've related to theirs, and so I think that's what makes it most rewarding. Church view, it's easy to write about something you've lived here on the farm in, in Kentucky. I've got tons of stuff to write about and I've written about, so it's been great to share that with fans. Will I hear it every now and then? If you just can't go home again, but that ain't true. I love Kentucky. I'm blessed to be from here. Even though I live in Nashville, my heart's still here. It'll never leave these back roads. It'll never leave this farm. And you know, I love to, to be able to come home. And now my wife and I have a son that's two, and so we're kind of bringing him back here as much as we can and let him know what the farm life's about. Let him know he can get dirty, it's all right. In the business I'm in, it's like we're always on the go. So anytime I can want to come back home and just relax and, and just hang out with the family, I know I can come right here in Kentucky on the family farm. Portsmouth.